everybody, it's Chris. So, um, if you haven't already heard, you probably have already heard this all over the place, uh, there was a massive shooting that occurred in Florida, and there, there has been a lot of talk about it, about gun control, about stuff like that, and usually I do talk about the heavy stuff, um, but stuff has happened to me, and I couldn't talk about it. Um, but it just shows a lot of things. There's a lot of opinions going on about it. If we need gun control, if we need more mental health, um, we need to fix people with men, like, not fix, we need to provide better services for people facing mental health issues. And I agree with that. Gun control, we do need gun control as well, just to at least have some sort of protection. Um, and there's just, there's just a lot going on about it. And uh, it seems to have sparked uh, a positive thing and a negative thing because there seems to be a lot of more shootings and threats that have awakened ever since that has happened. Um, one threat was made recently this week at my hometown. That person that at my brother's school, um, that person just made an empty threat and he was suspended but there's been a lot of threats going around, there's been a lot of security, there's been just a lot, and the thing that annoys me is that they didn't tell the parents about it the same day. They actually sent a letter, and they actually called them the very next day that this threat happened at my brother's school, and they should have done it the same day, and they did not. So that annoys me, but... Besides that, we're going to be reacting to the Parkland shooting survivors on the March of Our Lives that they appeared on the Ellen Show, and we're going to see what they have to do and what they have to say, and I know they're actually striving to do a lot of changes, so we're just going to get into that, and um, yeah, let's see how it goes. This March on Washington is happening March 24th. March 24th. Tell everyone what is happening exactly. We're going to march on Washington. Okay. <laughs> um, Speaking of which, we have some product oh, yeah. placement for you. Oh. What? We made shirts, you guys. Aww. What? So, if you can't make it with us, you can wear it with us. All right. <laughs> well, you know, the, main, the thing that inspired us to create the march was people saying, you are all talking about gun control, and this is not the time to talk about gun control. This is the time to grieve, the time to mourn. And we understand that. And we said, now might not be the time to talk about gun control. Here's the time to talk about gun control. March mm -hmm. 24th, we are going to have so many people in Washington, D.C. So many cities have created their own branch of March for Our Lives. They've all been reaching out to us. They've all been not reaching out to us and taking it into their own hands. It's amazing the universal support we've gotten. I mean, it's proof that this isn't red and blue. This isn't generation versus generation. This is the 97% of people who believe that we need to take steps here together. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with what side you're on. Exactly. It's, um, and I think that's... That is the most important thing because it really is such a divisive issue. I mean, people get so scared that, that guns are going to be taken away, and that is not what you're talking about. You just need more regulations. And so, uh, and I think no matter what side you're on, you know, the fact that these young people are, are taking such a stand, and especially coming out of being... I'm so quiet, sorry. And, ...and taking your energy, and like you said, that's how you're coping with it. You're, you are grieving, but you're also using your activism... I feel like I would wear that shirt so because of what happened. It is the best thing you could possibly I mean, do. it's about gun control as well. Like so, I said, what I believe in, but I would mostly do it... Um, so Shutterfly, uh, we've been partnering for years, and uh, they they help students and schools. And when they heard that I was going to be talking uh -huh. to you, they want to make a donation to the march. They want to give you. 50, oh wow, that's a lot. Help. So that's another fifty thousand. And oh, we are gonna. 
We are going to keep going. We encourage you to March keep going. March 24th, okay. Even if we're not in Washington, Washington, like, you can wear those shirts uh, telling you guys if you want to do that, then it's fine. And, and Honestly, if I can heard, get those shirts, I'll wear it. Made and by, by I would do it just to, to how you can talk, talk about, about this. For our lives. I can't thank you enough for yeah. being here. Okay. I would honestly just... I would just wear that shirt because of what happened. Like I said, with gun control, it's something that has been heavily discussed and has been continued to be discussed and then it just dies off. Gun control is... The thing is, you can get a gun anywhere from anyone. And that's why it's hard to say, oh, we need gun control. It would help to have gun control. But I also think that you need security and you also need better uh, mental health for people. Um, so if I can get one of those shirts, then I will wear one of those shirts to support them. There has to be something done. And it just, it just needs to happen because I'm just terrified about what's happening right now. So that's my reaction and my opinion and my talk about it. Um, I know it's short, sorry, <laughs> again. But thank you guys so much for listening to me and thank you so much for reacting to me or watching me react. So thank you and I will see all you beautiful and strange critters in the next video. Bye guys.